Greetings, viewers, and welcome to today's presentation. We will be covering the new improved Smartsheets web forms platform. Now, previously, with regards to Smartsheets, we had different Smartsheet ranges for different products. And within that product stack, there was a different form for each type of query that you wanted to log with our support division. We've been able to combine all those products and provide you with one smart sheet, one web form, which allows you to log multiple support queries for multiple products from one centralized location. Let's see exactly how it works. Right, so we've got our landing page here. And first, we're going to specify what type of user you are. So, for example, a standard user, an advanced user, for example, a system administrator, etc. Are you a Sage business partner or somebody from Sage Professional Services? Now, based on your selection here, it will determine the type of questions that are going to appear on the web form. So I'm going to use, for example, Sage business partner. And we then have a section with regards to contact information. Here you'd need to insert your account number or customer number. And if you are logging a support on behalf of your customer, you need to insert the customer's actual customer number or site code. We then request details about your company name, the contact name and contact email address, as well as the contact number. And then very importantly, if you are logging a support query on behalf of a customer, the name of the customer that you're logging support query for. Now, very importantly, and product information, we now have a drop down which allows you to select any of our products in our medium range. So for example, we've got all the products there and you can then specify the particular product. So I'm going to say Sage Evolution. And based on that selection, I'm now going to have a range of questions which are applicable to that product. Right, so I can specify the version of Evolution I'm using. The module. Drop down all the modules and also the type of query. We've got three options there, requesting information or guidance. This really relates to information about the product. Request investigative assistance. This includes things such as data investigations, on-screen error messages, etc. And request enhancement. This relates to product suggestions and enhancements. So if I say, for example, investigative assistance, I'm now going to have a range of questions applicable to my selection. So for example, I'm encountering an on-screen error message, select that option. And very importantly, just details about the query that you're experiencing. It's very important that information is detailed as will assist our support consultants to understand the problem and assist you quickly. And we also have details about where the error occurs or how often it occurs. And then also where it can be replicated on all terminals, single terminals, etc. And once again, very importantly, detailed steps on how to replicate the query. Okay, it's very important that these steps are detailed as it will allow our support consultants to, re to, rec to recreate the problem and be able to determine or find a solution for you. And we also have the ability to insert information about any troubleshooting steps that you may have undertaken prior to submitting your query via smart forms. This will obviously ensure that the support consultants don't redo or revisit uh, those queries or those uh, processes and obviously prevents duplication of work. We then also have the ability to insert details about the Microsoft SQL version, the database size, and details about the query. Is it a potential software bug, a confirmed software bug, or a feature that was working on a previous version? We then have the number of users affected by this problem, and how is a business as a whole being impacted by the support issue? We then also have the ability to upload a screenshot of the error message. It's always good if applicable or available to upload a screenshot for the error of the error message 
which allows our support consultants to see exactly what the problem is. We also have the ability to receive a copy of the responses. So if that's the case, I click on this box and insert my email address, and that will then allow you to receive a copy of your web form submission. Once you click on submit, you will then receive your web form submission and allocate an incident reference number, and our consultants can begin working on your query. So as you can see, a similar screenshot or a similar screen format, however, the major difference is here is that you can now process or submit support queries for multiple Sage products from one centralized location. And simply by selecting the product, you're then going to be requesting information or specifying information about the relevant product. More streamlined, more efficient, more user-friendly. I do hope that you found this presentation useful. Thank you so much for watching. Over and out for me.